In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the component that we're using for this, which is the SP page builder. So from components, you go to SP page builder and brings you to this page. Right now, there's nothing. Here. Everything is just blank because we haven't created anything yet. So you want to click on new. From the new, you notice you have, you know, a fairly blank screen here with just some bunch of stuff here. All right, let me explain what these are. Uh, just quickly here, the open graph, we're not going to be using that right now. Uh, for the publishing, you always want to make sure that th this is set to publish if you want people to see it. Uh, if you set it to unpublish, no one is going to be able to see it. Uh, if you want to make this private, uh, there are times when you want to create a uh, certain pages, maybe just for a certain subscriber list or for a certain group of people, then you want to set this to register, but they would have to log in on the front end and you can set it to special or super user if you just want only you uh, to have access to it. You sometimes do that when you're editing something and you want to make sure that it looks right before the general public sees that. All right, so now let's take a look here. All right, the first thing you notice is you have this row. This is going to add an additional row. Uh, but before we do that, let me show you here. When you put your mouse over the add column, you have here different layout options. And this is all based on the 12 column um, grid. And what that means is you can break these up into different columns, but they all have to add up to 12. And, you know, the reason why this is like this is uh, Joomla is the first major CMS to integrate uh, Twitter Bootstrap. Everything you see here right now is based on Twitter Bootstrap. Now, let's take a look at Bootstrap here. And this is their default grid system. And how this works is that you notice here you have all these are different uh, columns. You can break them up. You can split them up. You can have nested. You can, you know, offset some of those. Uh, but they all have to pretty much equal to 12 columns. And you take a look here. And this is based on a 940 uh, pixel, which is the same one that we're using. So this to give you some type of an idea. For example, the numbers have to add up to 12. So you can have uh, four different columns. You can have two columns. You know, you can have uh, different columns, but they all have to add up to 12. For example, when you add eight plus four, that's equal to 12. And if you want to have four columns that split up into three, then that's equal to 12. If you want to have three columns that split up into fours, then that's equal to 12. And you can also offset some of those as seen here. And, and you know, but this, you know, it, it, it get a little bit confusing, but it's really not. Uh, the main thing that you need to understand is that it allows you a lot of flexibility for you to lay things out. And the reason why, you know, I guess they started to do this because the flat design is the new trend that's going on right now. If you look at most sites, you notice that they're very open and they're utilizing the Twitter bootstrap um, gridding system here. So, for example, let's take a look at this one. You have here different uh, columns here. Now, in Joomla terms, you can look at these as modules. So you have 12 different modules here, each occupying one column. Or you can have three module positions occupying four columns each. Or you can have two here that occupies two. And then you have eight plus four. And if you notice two here, you have the eight is bigger than the four. That means that the information that you can put in this four is not going to be the same as you can put in this eight. Whatever is in this eight is going to be a fluid, meaning that it's going to expand with whatever you put here. Uh, and then this one, you have two here that are six plus six equal 12. And then you have this one here that's just 12. Uh, so this is where they get, you know, their idea from. This is what is integrated with. So it's understand that, you you know, it's good that you know how this works because it allows you a lot of flexibility in terms of layout. And you're going to see that come in handy later. And if you look even at the template layout here, you notice that they have this similar structure. Uh, as with the Twitter bootstrap scaffold in here. So now let's go back here. Once you put your mouse over here, you can click on one and it's going to have just one column. Now let's say you want to have a landing page or a page that's broken up into two different columns. Let's click this one here. 
you notice you have this section here and then you have this section here the section that says add on here this is bigger than the one to the left now let's change the let's say you want to change you want to have four and you notice you have one two three and four here so everything is based on columns you can make some columns bigger and you can make some columns smaller and if you want to have just two and then you have two which six plus six equals to twelve and then to this corner here you have these buttons here and the first button here if you want to add and you click on it it's going to add another column at the bottom and once again this allows you to be you know more creative so once you click on this here it's going to add another column and within that column you can be able to add you know individual nested column within this main main one here so let me just x that out and then you click on this here this is going to uh, the information that you want to set for this particular uh, column here you can change the background color so everything that you put if you if you change the background color here everything that you put within this column is going to use this, this background and or you can also put a background image uh, for that and you can just go through here and you know just kind of pick and choose the settings for it and one of the great things too about this is it allows so much flexibility so much and I love it because you can be able to position things where you want them to go if you don't like how something looks in one section you can move it over and you can also enable video in the background all you have to do is just to grab the video uh, URL and just post it here and you can also set uh, for the pattern you know for the you, how far apart you know on the left and the, the right the top and the bottom this for spacing uh, and then for the CSS class you can set the hair turn then you can set the margins for the top the bottom the left and if you want this to be full screen so we're going to be taking a look at some of this you know a little bit later but I just wanted you to have uh, an idea of you know what's going to be going on so there's so much flexibility here with this thing and once you click on the add-on now oppose you this uh, page here or this pop-up here and we're going to be creating I'm going to be going through each one so that you understand how each one works and how you can be able to apply each one to your site and then you click here on the options uh, once again you can set the specific parameters for each section so let's for example let's take a look at this bootstrap here you see how you have uh, four diff different columns here well with this system if you want to have each section to have a different color you can set that color if you want it to have a different font uh, size you can do that you can set the column pattern you can set the animation for it uh, you can even set the CSS so it allows you for complete control over your pages you can create basic pages to extremely complex you know layouts which we're going to take a look at creating different layouts later uh, so that's pretty much uh, everything here uh, that you need to know in order to to use this uh, so let's let's move on to the next lesson